China's Deep Robotics just unleashed the Lynx M20, a robodog so rugged it laughs at mountains. Watch as it charges through swamps, scales debris, and emerges dripping from a watering hole like some kind of mechanical safari guide, all while carrying 33 pounds of gear. But that's just one headline in today's robot revolution. We've got Tesla's Optimus grounded by a magnet shortage, thanks to geopolitics. Spot's latest party trick, walking on liquid, and UPS quietly testing humanoids to sort your packages. So buckle up, we're diving into the wildest robotics updates of 2025. And trust me, you'll want to see that Ublek experiment. Starting with China's Deep Robotics, which officially unveiled the Lynx M20, a heavy-duty evolution of its already impressive Robodog, and this one means business. Designed for extreme environments, the M20 isn't here to perform flashy backflips, even though it probably could. Instead, it's built to tackle infrastructure inspections, disaster response, logistics, and scientific fieldwork, places where most robots would hesitate to tread. In the footage, the M20 shows off its rugged abilities with ease. We see it moving smoothly through sand, even across desert terrain, without struggle, capitalizing both its legs and wheels to stay fast and steady. The robot confidently climbs up stairs, handles rocky obstacles, and is even seen climbing down from the back of a jeep's. And what can one say about the insane jump with brutal confidence? One striking moment shows it carrying a fire extinguisher, proving it's not just agile but strong enough for real-world tasks. What makes it stand out? For starters, its hybrid wheel leg system lets it switch between rolling at 18 kilometers per hour, which is 11 miles for speed, and walking over rough terrain when obstacles demand it. Need to climb? It scales 31-inch barriers without breaking stride. Tight spaces? It slips right through 20-inch gaps like a mechanical cat. And with 96-line LiDAR providing 360 awareness, it navigates chaotic environments, whether that's a collapsed building or a muddy wetland, with precision. Durability is another selling point. The M20 is IP66 rated, meaning dust and heavy rain won't stop it, and it operates in temperatures from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. It carries a 33 pound 15 kilo payload, and its hot swappable battery keeps it running for 2.5 to 3 hours per charge. The Pro model steps things up with autonomous charging, slam mapping, and advanced navigation, handy for remote missions where human intervention isn't an option. Pricing starts at $18,000, positioning it as a serious but not exorbitant tool for industrial use. Bottom line, the Lynx M20 is one of the most versatile field robots available today. Whether it's inspecting a power grid after a storm or hauling gear through a disaster zone, this Robodog is built to deliver. Moving on, the popular repair specialists at iFixit recently turned their tools on Unitree's go-to robot dog, giving us an unprecedented look inside one of the most affordable quadruped robots on the market. At just $1,600, the go-to reveals some thoughtful engineering choices that make it particularly appealing to hobbyists and researchers. The teardown highlights several smart design decisions starting with the easily replaceable battery pack. Unlike some competitors that use proprietary power systems, the Go2 utilizes standard 18650 lithium-ion cells arranged in a simple, serviceable configuration. Each of the robot's legs features a modular design with clearly labeled motors and connectors, allowing for straightforward component replacement without requiring soldering expertise. However, the examination did uncover some durability concerns. During stair navigation tests, iFixit discovered a stress fracture in the neck assembly, suggesting this area might need reinforcement for more demanding applications. The internal construction also shows liberal use of adhesives, including tape, silicone, and epoxy, which while messy looking, actually serve an important purpose in protecting components from the constant vibrations inherent in legged locomotion. Next, Unitree continues pushing the boundaries of accessible robotics with their B2W Model 2, a rugged quadruped that's been turning heads with its impressive outdoor capabilities. 
The footage shared by robotics enthusiast and Unitree's sales director Irving Chen showcases the B2W effortlessly navigating challenging mountain terrain in a single continuous take. No camera tricks or selective editing. What makes the B2W stand out is its combination of performance and affordability. While it shares many capabilities with Boston Dynamics' famous spot robot, it comes at a fraction of the price, making advanced mobile robotics more accessible to researchers and commercial users alike. Even without recent updates, the B2W continues to impress as a capable, affordable alternative to premium robodogs. It made waves at CES 2025, where it demonstrated potential applications in logistics, search and rescue operations, and industrial inspection scenarios. Its combination of payload capacity, environmental resilience, and advanced mobility algorithms positions it as a practical alternative to more expensive platforms, bringing sophisticated robotic capabilities within reach of smaller organizations and research teams. Now, speaking of Boston Dynamics, the Spot Quadruped robot just pulled off its coolest party trick yet, walking on what looks like water, but is actually oobleck, that bizarre cornstarch mixture that defies normal physics. If you don't know about it, here's how it works. Oobleck behaves like a liquid when undisturbed, but instantly solidifies under pressure. The experiment perfectly illustrated fluid dynamics while showcasing Spot's capabilities. Its precise foot placement and weight distribution let it essentially surf across the surface without sinking, like some kind of robotic magical lizard. As much as it's a viral stunt, it's also a genius science communication. The Museum of Science is using Spot to demonstrate non-Newtonian fluids in the most attention-grabbing way possible. While most physics demos happen in beakers, they've turned theirs into a robot obstacle course where Spot also navigates ramps, stairs, and other challenges. It's the kind of hands-on science that makes kids actually stop and pay attention, and honestly, even adults won't want to miss it. Next up, in a twist of irony, Tesla's humanoid Optimus robots, designed to replace human workers, are being delayed by human problems. China just slammed the brakes on exports of heavy, rare earth magnets. And these aren't just any components. They're the secret sauce that keeps Optimus's joints from overheating. It's a direct response to the Trump administration's steep new tariffs on Chinese tech imports. When the US imposed 35% tariffs on Chinese rare earth products in March 2025, China simply retaliated by classifying these materials as strategic resources, requiring special export licenses. These magnets contain special rare features that stay stable at high temperatures, allowing Tesla to pack powerful motors into Optimus's compact limbs. China controls nearly all global production, and their new export license system could mean months of delays. While competitors might redesign their robots to use weaker magnets with bulkier joints, Tesla's sleek Optimus design is suddenly looking vulnerable. So looking at the, the bigger picture, this is a wake-up call for the robotics industry. After years of focusing on software and AI breakthroughs, manufacturers are being reminded that hardware still depends on real-world supply chains, and geopolitical tensions can stall even the most advanced robots. Next, Boston Dynamics Atlas Humanoid has crossed a critical threshold, demonstrating sophisticated manipulation skills in its latest Arm You Glad to See Me video. The upgraded robot now fluidly combines dynamic mobility with precise arm control, picking up tools, adjusting grip pressure, and placing objects with human-like spatial awareness. This represents a technical leap beyond previous versions that focused primarily on locomotion. Previously, Atlas could lift and transport objects, but now using NVIDIA's Dexter H RGB's end-to-end -end dexterous grasping based purely on stereo RGB input, it can perform far more adaptive and precise handling. Atlas can robustly grasp and manipulate objects without relying on depth sensors. This means it can now carry items while adjusting grips mid-task, navigate obstacles, and handle tools in varying orientations with much greater skill. This unlocks practical applications that require both movement and keen manipulation. These advancements bring Atlas closer to real-world deployment 
as the company shifts from viral parkour videos to demonstrating work-ready functionality. No wonder why Hyundai became interested. Last but not least, UPS is reportedly in advanced discussions with Figure AI to integrate humanoid robots into its logistics network, marking a potential shift in how packages move through the system. The five feet, six inch figure robots showcased in a February demo sorting boxes on a conveyor belt could bring human-like dexterity to tasks traditionally requiring human workers. While UPS already deploys fixed robotic arms in its high-tech velocity facilities, humanoids offer the advantage of mobility, able to move between workstations or handle irregularly placed items. The partnership faces scrutiny as Figure seeks $1.5 billion in funding at a $39.5 billion valuation. Skepticism grew after questions emerged about the extent of its BMW collaboration, though the UPS talks appear more substantive. If successful, this could see humanoids working alongside existing automation like Dexterity Inc.'s robotic arms, creating hybrid human-robot work environments in UPS hubs within the next 18 to 24 months. So, are robots taking over? Maybe some jobs. From Lynx's industrial grit to Tesla's supply chain woes, one thing's clear, the race is on. What's your pick? The rugged M20, Atlas's arms, or Figure's UPS deal? Drop a comment and hit like if you want a deep dive on any of these. Until next time, keep watching.